Remember, it's the Ohio State University. This year, we have seen hands down the craziest transfer portal in college football history. There has never been a time in college football where so much talent has hit the transfer portal. And a lot of teams have been capitalizing on this year's transfer portal. I mean, let's take a look at a team like the Texas Longhorns who are coming off of an amazing year where they made it all the way to the college football playoffs. They recently just picked up four-star transfer prospect at tight end Amari Kneeblack as well as four-star safety prospect from Clemson, Andrew Makuba, and picking up one of the best edge rushers in the country and four-star transfer prospect, Trey Moore. Oh yeah, they also landed the number one wide receiver in the transfer portal and five-star transfer prospect, Isaiah Bond. But what about a team like the Ole Miss Rebels who look to be a dark horse to make it to the college football playoffs next season? They've landed big time pickups like four star transfer prospect at wide receiver Antoine Wells, as well as landing big time edge rusher from Florida in Princely Uman Million. Oh, yeah. They also landed the third best player available in the transfer portal in five-star defensive lineman Walter Nolan. And while I could sit here and talk about some other schools, there has not been a team that has capitalized more in the last 48 hours in the transfer portal than the Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State's coming off of a strange year in 2023 where they looked like the normal Ohio State that we're used to, a dominant team, but this year they had an above average defense. The only problem was they lost to Michigan for the third straight year. And while a lot of that fell on the subpar quarterback play the Buckeyes had last season with Kyle McCord, Ryan Day knows that he's in the hot seat and he needed to make changes quick and he needed to make them fast and right now, and he definitely did. The Ohio State Buckeyes just shocked the college football world and landed the number one transfer prospect in the 2024 transfer portal in five-star prospect Caleb Downs from Alabama. As soon as Caleb Downs hit the portal, he immediately became the most coveted player in the transfer portal. Now, everybody thought that he was a lock to go to Georgia, but... Ohio State made that last second push and ended up landing one of the most impactful players in college football. Oh yeah, and it is highly rumored that the Ohio State Buckeyes are going to land the number one quarterback available in the transfer portal in five-star recruit Julian Sayan. Here's what one of the sources that is close to Julian Sayan said about his recruiting process now that he's in the transfer portal. I'd be shocked if he didn't end up at Ohio State. Sources have indicated that once it was learned Sayan was entering the portal, Portal, there was chatter that the Buckeyes were have interest. On the other side, we're told there is a great deal of interest in Ohio State from Saiyan's end, especially with the fact that Bill O'Brien is coming over as the offensive coordinator. If you remember, O'Brien was actually the one to recruit Saiyan to Tuscaloosa. As you can see from the highlights that are playing now, Julian Saiyan is one of the most polished and college-ready quarterbacks in this year's 2024 recruiting class. Julian Saiyan knows where to put the ball. He has perfect timing effortless throwing motion and is one of the most promising quarterback prospects that we have seen coming out of high school in the past decade. The Buckeyes are also bringing over a dynamic duo at wide receiver in their second ranked 2024 recruiting class in five-star wide receiver Mylon Graham and five-star wide receiver in the number one prospect in the class of 2024, Jeremiah Smith. Oh yeah, also don't forget, the Buckeyes landed the number one running back in the portal in five-star RB from Ole Miss, Quinshawn Judkins. Also, now having it solidified that Travion Henderson is coming back for another year, you're going to be adding Will Howard as well as five-star quarterback Julian Sayan, and you're also bringing in another five-star quarterback in Aaron Nolan. He's probably going to hit the transfer portal. Let's keep it a buck. You can't have that much talent on the team. But you have three guys that could immediately be way better than Quinn than, than Kyle McCord ever was. You're also bringing in two more five-star wide receivers in this class. You're bringing in the number one running back in the country. You already have a ridiculous amount of talent at the in the wide receiver room. Like Ohio State, on, you're also keeping JT to him a lot. Like Ohio State. Texas, there were so many teams that I was like, man, Florida State's making moves, Ole Miss is making moves, Texas is making moves. Ohio State was already there. The only, the only road bump that they hit was Michigan. With the with them having a solid quarterback, 
and improving in all of the offensive weapon categories besides wide receiver. You're, you're going to be losing Marvin Harrison Jr. That, that, that's a tough one to replace. But you're bringing in more five-star recruits that are just going to take his place. And Jeremiah Smith is looking like the replacement to Marvin Harrison Jr. I think that the Ohio State Buckeyes are going to be the team to be next season. I know that Georgia's, they're bringing back a lot of guys. I know that Florida State, they added a whole lot of talent. With what Ryan Day, with how much pressure that Ryan Day is under, knowing he has to be Michigan, knowing he needs to get back to the college football playoffs, they went out and did the recruiting. They went out there and brought in the piece from the transfer portal. When they land Julian Sain, having Julian Sain and Will Howard there, I can see where Will Howard starts the season. And if he plays amazing, then you ride out the rest of the season with Will Howard. If he starts to get a little shaky, I think either Julian Sain or Aaron Nolan could very easily step up and be the QB1 for the Ohio State Buckeyes immediately day one the Buckeyes are in prime position to absolutely dominate this upcoming season and I am more than excited to see what they're able to do but I want to hear from all my Buckeye fans it has been a blessed past 24 hours you're bringing in the number one player in the portal in, in Caleb Downs who's going to immediately improve that defense you also kept a lot of the defensive playmakers that made your team great this past season on top of just immediately bolstering that offensive side of the ball like comment your thoughts down below on my Buckeye fans yo I need to hear from y'all because y'all have been going crazy leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications I love and I appreciate each and every single last one of y'all hey I know that you know but let, let's just let's just let's just switch up gears a little bit hey if you're going through anything know that you are not alone in this world know that you can always call upon jesus christ i know that sometimes it doesn't feel like anybody cares i know that sometimes it feels like you know you could just kind of go through life and just kind of you kind of feel invisible know that you are never invisible to jesus christ he knows exactly who you are he knows everything about you he knows how you feel all the time he's never left your side all we have to do is just acknowledge that he's always been there all he wants to do is just pour out his love on, upon us. Always remember that. Always let you have your best friend that you could ever ask for and your savior in Jesus Christ. And he is right there waiting to have a one, just wanting to have a relationship with you. Always remember that. Love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.